League Now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Put an extra fire on the log tonight. It is chilly across the region. We have hard freeze warnings across the western part of Pocahontas and the western Greenbrier County. There's elevations above 3,000 feet. So if you haven't done that already, what you want to do is cover your plants or flowers with a blanket or bring them inside to prevent cold weather damage. Most of us are dry, but there are a few flurries that are not showing up on radar in snowshoe. So we have this big dome of low pressure that's bringing cold air behind it. We have temperatures in the 30s. We jump into the plains, we are in the 50s. So there's a nice warm up. The problem is this stubborn blocking pattern across Greenland is gonna keep this low intact for most of the week until we get to Thursday. Our temperatures have been above average through the fifth of the month. Near average for Friday football, and then look at that, the high 58, but that was early in the day. So our first day below average, but we are going to tack on several more days. We've also been dry until yesterday at the Beckley Airport, six hundredths of an inch of rain. Nothing registered today, but there were a few sprinkles out there. It is 39 in Marlington, 43 in Lewisburg, 44 degrees in Beckley. Our temperatures will drop another three or four degrees. Tomorrow, not as much sun as today. It will still be brisk though, so it's going to feel much colder. Then what's going to happen is on Monday, a little system will skirt from west to east, bring a couple of sprinkles in the morning. Wednesday, we'll have a frost in the morning and then a pattern change, but it's just temporary, folks. Temporary is the key right now. We are going to warm up well into the 70s as a warm front lifts north on Thursday. And then boom, another front comes through late Friday. That will produce rain. On the back side of it, we are in the same pattern as we are today. Chilly and brisk once again. You're going to feel this with all these temperature changes. Those who suffer from arthritis will feel this little blip in the pressure field once we get into Monday. And then especially this storm system on Friday is going to drop the pressure significantly. Um, and as we learned from a story I did a couple of weeks ago, it's when the pressure drops is when those with arthritis feel it the most. So brace yourself for Friday. Now, we are still talking about snow and snowshoe. There's a little coating on the ground right now, and they'll have a dusting through tomorrow morning. Just a different climate above 4,500 feet in elevation. Seven day forecast, the high 50 tomorrow, burr. Monday, a touch of frost in the morning. That'll be the exception to the rule because the winds will keep things moving around. 58 the high, but look at that, Kayvon. By Thursday, we are in shorts and a short sleeve shirt, getting a tan outside, temperatures in the 70s, and then the rain comes after nine o'clock, so I think most of the Friday night football games will be salvaged, and then we're back into the 50s, windy with some showers on Saturday. So roller coaster ride in our temperatures. I think that's like the epic, most epic roller coaster ride. I mean, from to go from 70s, then right back to 50s on that Saturday. Yeah. It's insane. I think that's how the whole winter is going to be, actually. We had our winter outlook, you know, yeah. a couple weeks ago. But uh, yeah, this is just a sign of things to come. If I get a couple days of 70s, though, here on out, yeah, I'll be happy. That's exactly. what I want. And then hopefully Bonus that rain weather. holds off a bit so we have yeah. like a true 70 good, you know, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, especially for Friday Night yeah. Football. I'm hoping, and that's the trend, is this front slowing down just a mm -hmm. bit. So, um, you know, worst case scenario will be after 9 o'clock, but it potentially could be even pushed into to Saturday. Yeah. And I'm still thinking, folks, uh -oh. bridge day. Good. Nice day. Good. We break out of this cold pattern at least for a couple of days. As long as the sun's out, I'm happy. Exactly. That's the most important thing. All right, we'll be back with more right after this.